My name is Pro Das Gupta, and I would like to introduce our new publication that I co-authored with Dr. S. K. Ghosh. Seismic design using structural dynamics based on 2012 IBC, 2015 IBC, and AC 710. Both 2012 and 2015 IBC adopt AC 710 as the reference document for determining seismic loads on a structure. AC 710 requires dynamic analysis in certain situations, especially for tall buildings with certain irregularities. Over the years, many questions have been asked about code provisions concerning these procedures. This publication has been created to answer these questions and to demystify the application of the building code with respect to modal response spectrum analysis. This 180-page long publication has two chapters. Chapter 1 discusses the essential formulations of dynamic analysis of structures which form the background to the requirements we see in the building codes today. It starts with a simple single degree of freedom system and associated formulations for its dynamic response when subjected to earthquake ground motions and then introduces modal analysis and response spectrum leading to a detailed discussion of multi degree of freedom systems and mode shapes this chapter also gives you a glimpse on how the building code requirements for dynamic analysis have evolved over the years to what we have now in AC710 A three-story one-bay frame is then manually solved to illustrate the application of the dynamic analysis procedure. Chapter 2 of this publication is devoted to the detailed design of a 20-story reinforced concrete building that utilizes a dual system consisting of special shear walls and special moment frames for earthquake resistance. Modal response spectrum analysis is used as the basis of design. Design utilizing the equivalent static method is also done. to illustrate the advantages of dynamic analysis in terms of lower forces and smaller member sizes finally shear walls and members of the moment frames are designed using the provisions of 2011 edition of ACI 318 so this was a short description of our new book we hope you will find this book very helpful not only for gaining a better understanding of the building code requirements but also to gain more confidence for running dynamic analysis in various design software Thank you.